ChatGPT can be a good assistant to developer. Especially when we learn a new programming language, we start learning by creating model class, making HTTP requests, and serialize the JSON response and map it to the model class. So here, we will learn how to map or convert JSON response to the model class in Flutter with the help of ChatGPT. So here, I have created a very simple model class that takes a name and an age variable with both our strings. Next, let's ask ChatGPT how to convert JSON response and map it into this model class. And this is the response from ChatGPT. Now let's go step by step. So firstly, we need to add two package dependency, which is JSON annotation and JSON serializable in the Flutter project. So here in the output, we have a version solving error. Let's try remove the JSON serializable version. Alright, so it exit with code 0. Next, second step is to create a Dart class, which we have created in our model folder. According to ChatGPT, we have to add the from JSON and to JSON method in the class. Don't forget to change the value to match your own class name. And also, don't forget to add the required configuration on top of the class. After adding all, the next step is to run the code generator command. And when we run the code generator command, it says that could not find package build runner. So let's add the build runner package. After adding the missing package, let's rerun the code generator command. Now we can see that the command successfully run and the code is generating. The code generator succeeded, but we have an error. Oh, I forgot to change the file name for the part configuration. This part file name should match the model class file name, which is user dot dot. And now we managed to generate the serialized file, which contains a from JSON and to JSON mapping method. After we generated a file that contains the generated serialization and deserialization function, we can now use the user class and deserialize a JSON string. Now let's try to deserialize a sample JSON string using the ChatGPT example. Firstly, we have to modify the JSON string that match our user class model. Our user class model have only two string variable, which is name and age. Next, we have to modify the from JSON method that comes from our user class. So here we have created an object from the user class which called person. 
Now we can access to this object variable using person.name or person.age. Now let's run the Flutter application and see if we could get the same value as the JSON string that printed out in the person object. So here we run into an error. Alright, so in our JSON string, the value for age is set to integer. And in our user class, it should be a string. So let's change it to a string value. As you can see when we hot restart, the person object name and age value printed out in the terminal. So this means that we can now easily serialize and deserialize JSON response to a user object or a user object to a JSON response. This shows that ChatGPT can actually write quality codes or workable codes, even though they might have a little bit error or version conflict. But when an artificial intelligence chatbot could manage produce such content, it means that it is getting nearer and nearer to write and understand code like human. We would like to hear your comment on artificial intelligence chatbot such as ChatGPT on writing codes. Feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial.